Nowadays, studying is one of the most important things students can do to pass through grade to grade. Where did you come from? Ah, it doesn't matter. Anyway, the best thing you can do is just to ask the teacher as many questions as you can. Take notes, especially of those questions that you ask the teacher. But you have to make sure that your notes are worthy. Let's see how. If the notes you're taking look like this, you kind of have the wrong idea. But if your notes look like this, then you have the right idea. One of the final steps you need to do is find a safe place to put all your research papers so that you can safely get them out when you need to, tonight, when you're studying. The next step in the traditional study technique is to find a quiet, comfortable place to review all the notes that you've taken during the course of the day, preferably at your home, outside, or outside around your home. The next step in the study technique is to remove all distractions from your said comfortable and quiet place to study. The average duration of a student's study time should be approximately 30 or more minutes, depending on what subject you might be studying on. It might be a test, or it might just be a simple quiz. Either way, you shouldn't take too long. However, just make sure that the limits on your study time remain in control. Helpful tip number two. The internet is the most powerful studying technique that will ever exist. And will most likely remain that way. The square root of pi is undefinable. Therefore, that is why I've wasted my entire life searching for a college degree on mathematics. I recommend you take biology. Helpful tip number one. Brain food is one of the most important components of study time. So make sure before you begin cracking those books, you stock up on snacks. Yes. I would like 10 Big Macs, 5 orders of 20 piece McNuggets, 16 orders of large fries, 4 apple pies, 1 Caesar chicken salad, and a large Coke. Yes, super size. Helpful tip number 4. If you find yourself unable to study by yourself, if you get distracted often, if you just can't concentrate, a tutor might help you achieve that goal. About the Indians in the war, what exactly did they do? Which war again? In the War of 1812. Well, most historians believe the Indians were most likely around the country still in tents, while the um, newly established Patriot Americans at that time were fighting the British. If you follow all these steps and guidelines, I am fairly sure that you'll find yourself passing tests with flying colors. Thank you. Good night. Well, the south side of Chicago, it's the baddest part of town. And if you go down there, you better just beware of a man named Leroy Brown.